I can speak from the relative safety and security of living in England in Hartford shows it happens but generally we don't have bombs going off or you know stuff like that the which they have got going off in the Middle East at the moment now what can I do about it? <laughs> I'll listen to the news. I'm more or less up to date on the news front. The hard right wing government, the Israelis, Netanyahu and the rest are not even beginning to discuss the end of bombing the head out of the Gaza Strip and raids and the Gaza Strip, the Hamas lot and so on. Got a few bombs left, so they're going to keep firing them off to express their feelings. Brilliant. What a mess. I mean, that's about it, really, quite frankly. <coughs> Just an ugly sort of mess. Can I stop it? Can I intervene in any way? Or can I do anything? <sighs> Other than these films of mine, I mean, at least the sort of see what's going on and make sense of it in some sense. You get all these experts on the news and they're all discussing this and that. I mean, basically, Christ came to give us the opportunity to rise out of a mess, so if they strike you on one cheek, give unto them the other cheek, and every single hair on the head of your fellow man, woman, and child is precious and special that you mustn't kill them, for heaven's sake. I mean, it's so obvious. <sighs> Yeah, but no one's listening, are they? And I sit here in my nice material comfort, screaming, really. Whilst they're all killing each other. Yeah, but I mean, it's all around the world anyway. <laughs> I mean, Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Syria, I don't know, I can go on and on, I'd say, 17 more, Hong Kong, everywhere, Zimbabwe, just everywhere. As a Christian, right, my answer is love. Somewhere in all of this blooming human nonsense, there must be love. <clears throat> Will anyone listen? <sighs> I think that's enough of me. Thank you, Nathan.